I was invited to speak at the Flasha convention in June, which was being held on a cruise ship. I left my home in Chicago and flew all the way to Orlando. We were leaving from Port Canaveral to board a Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas ship. My roomie was Kristen Bowers from Kiwi Speech and I interview her a little later in this video. But we were really impressed with the cruise ship, the Mariner of the Seas Royal Caribbean. Our room had the nicest little outlook and when we first boarded we saw another cruise ship cruising away. The first day at sea was spent absorbing CEUs, but the second day at the Port of Nassau, Bahamas. You can see here we saw the cutest little lighthouse from our balcony and we had a beautiful view of the sun coming up over the Atlantis Hotel Complex and another cruise ship there in port. I wanted to walk around the ship a little more and share what beautiful amenities we had while we were there from all the little restaurants and the fancy interior where you could walk around. It was just so fun and I definitely felt spoiled. Getting off at Nassau, it's a beautiful tropical little port with a ton of cruise ships and so it's very touristy. I really liked the people that I encountered as I was walking around and they were so friendly and we did some light shopping. I also found a little shop called the Hearing Impaired Native Craft Center and I bought a couple trinkets for my sons. Now, Kristen and I stopped at Pirate Republic Brewery. <laughs> what do you think? We yeah. So we're at, um, what is it? Pirate, Pirate Republic Brewery. So I'm glad yeah. I presented yesterday. Now I yeah. get to sit back and relax. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I'll be going in about an hour. So yeah, it's nice to go do something out, out of our comfort zone. It is. It's been a really nice combination of yeah. attending courses and a little relaxing time. Yeah. It's been really nice. I would totally do a CE cruise in the future, but I would definitely recommend presenting on one again. It's a nice, yeah. a really casual atmosphere to present in. Yeah. You know, nothing relaxes you like looking out to the audience and seeing people sipping mojitos. Yeah. Good. No, I think I'm the most relaxed that I've ever been at a conference because I usually get pretty amped up and being neurotic. It's it's an experience. Well, I would say sitting here at the brewery, literally an hour and five minutes before you present is like not neurotic. Yeah, that's <laughs> like true. Maybe this is some neurot neuroticism. I'm, I'm, I'm going in the new frontier yeah, for myself. I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. After. We returned to the ship. It was time for me to present, but I am not able to take video of any of the courses. I just wanted to give you kind of a lay of the land. We had different sessions all over the place and it was stunning. We were um, on different floors and there were multiple sessions happening at the same time. You can see there were some exhibitors. And here was the room that I gave my talk in. I just wanted to make sure you saw just the enormity of this ship. There were 1,300 employees on this ship. It was crazy and the food was amazing. I didn't get any footage of the dining room, but I did get some footage of the buffet. And the buffet was open almost all day. You could come up there for any, even a small snack or a full breakfast. Um, and also instead of going to the formal dining room, you could have eaten here. I didn't go to the dining room for breakfast. I went to the dining room for dinner. I went here for my breakfasts. So the last full day was spent going to the private island. And after some CEUs, we jumped off the ship and wandered over 
to the island. I walked, but you can see these cute little, little truck like cars taking people to the private island. Hey there, I'm on my way to the private island uh, after spending a lot of time getting some CEUs. Looks like there's a storm coming in, so who knows how long I'll be out there, but I really had a great time. I would be using my camera, but because of how hot and humid it is, it is completely fogged up and hopefully the lens is okay because it seems like it's taking a really long time to defog. Uh, but anyway, I'll, see, I'll try to show you what I can see. It's called Perfect Day at Coco Cay and it's Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas, which I believe it's essentially almost an amusement park. They've got a full water park, zip lines, uh, um, hot air balloon you can ride in, and it's just got a very tropical feel. Multiple beaches, and that's really what I decided to do because that's what I wanted to do. Just kind of look out over the water and do some light shopping. The, the food options were also pretty significant, so it was great. The only problem was it started to rain. And we watched the rain come and, and we got drenched, but it was so fun. We pulled away from the island and watched it go away in the distance. I, I just really enjoyed having a room that had a balcony so I could get my bearings and look over the water at, um, at multiple times during the day. I found that to be very peaceful. The sound of the water, the beautiful blue sky and the clouds, it was wonderful. I was happy to come home and see my kids, but I knew I had a really great conference and I'd learned an absolute ton. I found the sessions to be extremely good, especially all the bilingual sessions that I went to. I definitely felt like it was a worthwhile experience for me and I would totally go back. Chicago O'Hare International Airport is a great airport, by the way, and I just love walking around and, and looking at all the international flags. If you have any questions about my trip to Florida, I'd love to talk to you about it. Feel free to comment below.